I guess a lot of people know him as the guy who's in this band that everyone really likes. And, um, and yeah, he doesn't really have much of a family life back home. He's kind of, you know, he's easygoing and fun. And uh, he walks past a music room one day and hears uh, this cello playing and looks inside and Mia's playing the cello and classes have ended but she's still playing and, you know, he's obsessed with music and that's <clears throat> interesting to him, you know, there's a line where he said, he, he says he just loves to watch her play because she's so like, you know, he sees, although it's a completely different style of music that she's interested in, it's, he, he, I guess he can see the love of it in her and that makes him attracted to her. I think it help, It kind of helps you understand why they like each other so much. I think if someone's good at something and cares about something, it's kind of attractive and, you, and I think that goes for both of them because they see the, other, the other's care and, and, uh, and how hard they work at music. It's, it's attractive for the both of them and they want, they want each other to achieve what they both set out to achieve and that's and that's um a quite exciting for them i think rj has got such a good understanding of you know how people work and and what looks nice and and he, he you know he, he just loves this story so much and he cares about it so much and, and when you feel that from someone it's exciting and and um Alison the same, she's been, she's been so great and so helpful and, and they both really supported me from the beginning so I, I really appreciate that from them. It's got to be that, that gig scene, isn't it? Just playing in front of, you know, be, being in a band for an hour and, and knowing what that would feel like. Knowing that I will never ever, do, <laughs> never ever be able to do it but being, you know, getting the chance to do that was great. Labor Day weekend and there's a big bonfire in the garden and there's a bunch of friends around and everyone's having fun and and there's a you know a bunch of my band are there a bunch of her dad's band are there and then uh, we're all kind of jamming by the by the fire and then Denny whispers in Adam's ear and says come upstairs with me so I'm like all right okay and we bring down her cello and she's never played with anyone really apart from it, by herself and we managed to convince her to kind of play with us and then Adam starts off this song and she joins in and kind of feels her way into the song and we eventually all as a group just end up singing this this song around the campfire it's really nice because you know we we'd, we'd, we were doing it together then it was really it was really cool to to see that yeah